Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check a new all-in-one F7 flight controller by HackerC. In this quick video, I'm only going to be able to provide you with a quick overview in which I'm going to go over the features and specs of this flight controller, as unfortunately, due to time constraints, I am not going to be able to feature it in a build and flight video, at least not in the next couple of weeks, but hopefully though, soon my schedule is going to clear up a bit and then I will be able to test it out. First of all, in terms of packaging, here you can see everything that comes inside the box of the Hacker C F7 all-in-one flight controller. So along with the all-in-one flight controller, you're getting a quick start guide, an XT30 battery connector, which is pre-soldered to four centimeters long, 18 gauge battery leads, a bag with four M3 to M2 rubber grommets, a 35 volt, 270 microfarad capacitor, an external USB Type-C connector with built-in LEDs and a harness that is going to enable you to connect it to the all-in-one flight controller and a JST connector that will enable you to quickly connect the all-in-one flight controller to the DJI Air unit. As for its specs, this all-in-one flight controller features an F7 processor, 5 full UART ports, an integrated 40 amperes BLLES 4-in-1 ESC that has a peak current of 50 amperes per channel. It can be powered with between 2 to 6S batteries. The motor pads can be accessed from both top and bottom sides of the flight controller. It features an onboard barometer, a dedicated JST connector for connecting it to the DJI unit, but pay attention that it only features a 5 volt 3 amperes BC so the air unit is going to be powered directly using the battery voltage and underneath the micro USB port you can find pads that are going to enable you to connect the flight controller to an external USB Type-C port which is a really nice add-on that is going to save you a lot of time and trouble in case the micro USB connector breaks. In addition, it supports both 25.5 and 26.5 mm mounts, it weighs 7.9 grams and its outer dimensions are 32.4 by 32.2 by 5.4 millimeters. As for the external USB Type-C connector, again, in my opinion, it's a blessed add-on, and I hope that other manufacturers are going to follow Hacker C and use this type of pads that will enable you to easily connect the flight controller to an external USB port. The included Hacker C external USB Type-C connector also features buzzer plus and buzzer minus pads so you can connect it to a buzzer and it also features two pretty bright LEDs. In order to use these two features, you will need to connect the external USB Type-C port to the LED plus 5 volts and buzzer minus pads that are located over here. Anyway, that's going to be it for my quick overview of this all-in-one flight controller by Hacker C. As far as I can tell, it offers nice features and it is well priced. The only thing that I'm missing is a 9 volts BC, which is something that you are going to find useful, especially for 6S digital builds. And hopefully I will be able to test it out soon in order to see if it leaves out to match its specs. As always, I thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.